Hi there. My name is Arlene West and I'm a Facebook marketing specialist. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save an Excel file as a CSV file. So you might be thinking, why would you want to do that? Well, you can take your customer data and upload it into Facebook. Facebook will create an audience called a lookalike audience based on the characteristics of your existing customers. It's a very powerful way to find the people that are most likely to buy your product or service. So with that, let's get to the tutorial. So you can see here that I have my uh, Excel file open. So very simple, with my file open, I come up to the file menu and I click on it and then I choose Save As. I'm going to choose Browse. The Save As dialog box pops up. And so if you see here, if you look down where it says File Name, just below that, it has the Save As type. So I'm going to click on, right now it says Excel Workbook. I'm going to click on that and you can see there's many choices that I have. I'm going to choose CSV, comma, Delimited. Now you might notice there's a couple of other CSV files, but one is Macintosh and the other is MS-DOS. Uh, so if you're using either one of those systems, then you would choose that. Otherwise, for Windows, which is what I'm using right now, you would use CSV, comma, Delimited. So I'm going to click on that. You can see it's filled in the box. So I can give my file name here if I wanted to change it, but I'm going to leave it the same because it's the same file. Um, it's just a copy. And of course, I can put it into a different folder if I wanted to up at the top. So I click Save, and then it confirms. Uh, I already have that file there, so it's confirming do I want to replace that file. I say yes. Now Excel is going to ask me, uh, some of these features in your workbook might be lost if you save it as CSV, common to deliver it. Do I want to keep using that format? And it, in this case, it's okay. What it means by some of the features, what it means is if I'm using Excel features, advanced Excel features such as formulas or if I'm using um, formatting in my you know fancy formatting, if I have tables or charts in there, some of that might be lost, but my data will be intact. So I want I, I just want the data here, so I'm going to say yes. And that's it. I'm done. Now if I minimize that, you can see here's my sample customer data file. And that's it. That's how to create a CSV file. So if you'd like more information, my web address is arlenewest.com and I'm also um, on Facebook at Ads by Arlene. And again, my name is Arlene West, Facebook Marketing Specialist. And I really hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching.